Andy had done a session with us a couple of years ago um, in Bishop Young Academy, um, working with some pupils who were new to English, doing poetry activities. So this project was an expansion of that work, um, and we decided to do some poetry activities, and then once the children had written a poem, to then help them to animate those poems and create a film. The idea around doing some animation as well as the poetry um, was that that could enable the young people to uh, increase their speaking and listening skills by learning their poem, by recording it, uh, creating that voiceover and then creating some visuals to go along with it. My name is Jamal, a sunny day with rain. My name means beauty. It's beautiful as a red rose. It means scent of my childhood. My mom and dad thought I would be a girl. They were as surprised as a surprise party, excited like a bouncy balloon. If I had a choice, my name would be Mehdi. It means strong like a lion, the king of the jungle. In my childhood, the first time I swam, the waves took me, pulling me like gravity. I was just splashing like a baby once a toy. I managed to escape like a mouse in a box of angry cats. I was so scared like a ghost hunting me. I like the sea. It makes me feel comfortable, reminding me of my old home, home in Syria, made from pink and orange bricks, the glitter in the sun. A small village with cows, sheep, chickens and horses. But I'm scared of chickens. I run when I see them. The first time I came to England, it was beautiful. It started snowing. It looks like a fluffy white blanket. We traveled on a plane, it made me feel dizzy below. The world looked as tiny as an ant. I spoke different language, it was English. In my mouth it feels like a wobbly jelly. It makes me feel strange. I wish that I knew all languages because I want to be understood by everyone. Now I live in West Bowling, Bradford. The house is made from dark yellow rough rocks. There are no cows or sheep or chickens or horses, so there is nothing to be scared of, but I'm scared of dogs, especially big huskies. Being there is a new home, but I'm happy and sad, like a sunny day with rain. Mawa, childhood in the sky. I come from the sound of children playing and the chimes of the old clock tower in Homs. I come from the smell of mashy soup and kebabs. From the taste of vanilla ice cream in the 40 degrees here in summer. I come from the move into Leeds with my family at the age of 10. I come from the sound of traffic of cars driving around hills. From the different perfumes of the people on the bus. I come from the taste of fish and chips and porridge in the cold winter. I learned to improve my English and to draw and to believe in myself. Uh, I learned three new types of poems and how to write them and how to do stop motion animations. Um, yeah, I've learned the animations, how to do it, and and I've got more confidence now, like in speaking in front of everyone. I learned how to do animation because before I will turn out to do it. But I enjoy the teamwork and to know how to like to do animation mm -hmm. and write a story. Hassan Muhammad. Glasses. I was born in a factory, pressed into shape and given color, brown and black. I was packed up in a van. When I was put on a shelf, I couldn't see anything. I dream of someone taking me home. People hate me first and admire me later. It was so boring being me, say on one person's nose for the rest of my life. I was chosen by a boy, packed up and taken home. He had lots of choice. There were all of my friends with different colors, but he chose me. I think the uh, young people have got a lot of different things out of this project. One obvious one is confidence. 
Um, they seem a lot more relaxed talking in English, writing in English, communicating in English and a lot more relaxed with us as well. My name is Zara from Turkey to England. It was with my family, my mom, sister and brother, like jumping off the highest diving boat. We traveled by airplane to England. Like I was a famous pop star. I was happy like a jumping ball. When we arrived, I saw new people speaking differently. It was like being a cat in a field of monkeys. I felt happy though because I started speaking different languages. Then I went on a journey to school. I got on a bus because my home to school is so far. I went to school with my mom Fatima. I saw a library, classroom and students. The school was so big like a hospital. I felt scared because I couldn't speak and understand English. It was hard making new friends like a test. Now I feel amazing because I have friends and I can speak English. Oh, it's been amazing. Um, all the all the uh, kids opened up, and uh, apart from benefiting from English from the language perspective, that I think they feel a bit more part of the of the community uh, of schools um, community. You know, uh, I think they've learnt a lot about themselves. Actually, I think they've they've thought a lot about their own identities, what they're capable of. Um, a lot of them have really grown in confidence over the, over the past six or seven weeks, um, as well as learning you know, some skills that they would never have come across before, like animation, the ability to write poetry in a lot of different ways, to understand different levels of meaning, to add more detail into their writing. So a lot of the things they can translate back into the classroom as well in terms of their own writing. Hi, my name is Santiago. My home is where my heart is. The first time I came in from Czech Republic, it was on an aeroplane. It was like a super bird that sound like a spaceship. It brought me to Leeds. The first time I cried, I was in primary school. It was a giant school making me feel like a tiny mouse. I was 11 years old, wearing a uniform. I didn't like want to, to wear my bright blue jeans and my black and white Jordans. They looked like a pair of penguins. I was missing my teacher and my friend Alma Hussein and made me sad and I cried like the rain. I stopped crying when I saw him again. My smile shone like angel. I felt happy because my teacher gave me confidence. I am Neymar Jr. winning the World Cup. I am the winner of the courage. My fear has disappeared. My heart is here where I feel not fear. We've definitely seen that some of the pupils who were really uh, anxious and who didn't have very good levels of English when we were doing the poetry um, have actually really come out of their shell with the animation and have been really, really good and really patient and created some really, really beautiful films. The major benefit is that the students can get together and they can work on something that's different and it allows them to explore more of a creative side. So. Students obviously get to do that in, say, art lessons, but not necessarily through English in the sense of being able to animate as well. So it allows them to explore different options and also different types of poetry and let them find language in their own way. And the benefit is that I've seen these children progress so much more. They've been able to say more to me, for example, because they've feel comfortable interacting with me and interacting with other people so I just it's just amazing what it's done for us.